Imagine a car that never needs gas, never needs electricity, never even needs a solar panel. A car that just moves. Sounds impossible, right? Well, so did the idea of Zimbabwe launching its own satellites into space. And yet, here we are. Zimbabwe has taken another significant step in space exploration with the launch of its second satellite, ZIMSAT-2. This mission follows the November 2022 deployment of Zimbabwe's inaugural satellite, ZIMSAT-1. While the world was busy watching SpaceX and NASA, Zimbabwe, a country better known for its economic struggles, Let's go on over to Zimbabwe now, where the economy is in rapid decline, with inflation now sitting at around 500%. Zimbabwe, a country better known for its economic struggles, was quietly building a space program that's now launching its third satellite, ZIMSAT-3. But why is Zimbabwe investing in space tech when its economy is in shambles? Is this a bold strategy for the future or just another government flex? Let's find out. Five, four, three, two, one. Engine ignition. We have liftoff. We have carry NGA launch tube, small flight. We have liftoff of Norfolk Grumman's 18th Commercial Resupply Services mission. The SS Sally Ride has begun its journey to the International Space Station. First stage is performing nominally so far. Zimbabwe launching satellites into space sounds like something out of a science fiction novel. For decades, the country has been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons economic collapse political instability, and record-breaking inflation. But behind the scenes, Zimbabwe has been making quiet but steady progress in space technology. In November 2022, the country launched ZIMSAT-1, its first ever satellite. Then in November 2024, they sent ZIMSAT-2 into orbit. The ZIMSAT-2 will monitor the Earth and support missions that keep track of crop health, predict yields, and identify any deficiencies. Developed utilizing modern technologies, ZIMSAT 2 demonstrates high efficiency and reliability and is a key milestone. And now they're gearing up for ZIMSAT 3, three satellites in less than five years. So what's driving this space ambition? This isn't just about bragging rights. Zimbabwe's space agency, ZINGSA, isn't just launching satellites for fun. They have a plan. The driving force behind this project. ZIMSA 2 is not just uh, an uh, achievement for ZIMSA, but for the entire nation of Zimbabwe. Right now, the country relies on outdated satellite imagery, with updates coming every five to six hours. That's not fast enough for monitoring agriculture, tracking illegal mining, or responding to natural disasters. ZIMSAT-3 aims to fix that. With better real-time Earth observation, Zimbabwe can track soil erosion, predict crop yields, and even monitor environmental changes, something that could be a game-changer for a country that relies heavily on agriculture. And it doesn't stop there. Satellite technology is also helping Zimbabwe regulate mining activities, especially illegal operations that threaten local communities. In short, this isn't just a flex. Zimbabwe wants to use space to solve real world problems. But here's where things get really interesting. Zimbabwe isn't doing this alone. Their first two satellites were launched with help from Russia's GK launch services, using rockets from the Vostokny Cosmodrome. And it's not just Russia. Other spacefaring nations, like China, have been expanding their influence in Africa's space industry, helping countries develop satellite technology in exchange for strategic partnerships. Why? Because space is the next geopolitical battleground, 
and controlling satellite data means controlling information. For Zimbabwe, these partnerships mean faster technological development, but they also raise the question, how much control do they really have over their own satellites? Zimbabwe isn't alone. Across Africa, countries are pouring millions into space technology. Nigeria, South Africa and Egypt are already deep in the space game, launching satellites and developing their own space programs. And the reason? Data is power. From agriculture to military intelligence, satellites give countries an edge. And with Africa's growing economies, nations are realizing that whoever controls the skies controls the future. Zimbabwe's space ambitions don't end with Zimsat 3. The government is upgrading the Mazowe ground control station, developing communication satellites, and pushing for more advanced technology. But the real question is, will this actually benefit Zimbabwe's economy? Or is it just another expensive project with no return on investment? Now I don't really know how it's going to help us in the future. If done right, Zimbabwe could become a major player in Africa's growing space industry. If done wrong, it could end up as just another government vanity project. Only time will tell. What do you think? Will Zimbabwe's space program pay off? Or is this just another government flex? Let me know in the comments. And as always, stay dangerous.